Hello and welcome. Today's a snowed-in edition of AA Computers and Technology. That's right. Three inches of snow here in Southern Virginia shuts down everything and I have time to make a video. So if you're tired of those 161 and 163 CMOS battery errors on the 380 series IBM ThinkPads, then stay tuned because I am going to solve your problem. So here it is, our 380 series IBM ThinkPad, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the CMOS battery within the laptop. So all you're going to need for the replacement of the CMOS battery is a Phillips head screwdriver, which I have right here in my hand, and the CMOS battery, which is a CR1220 3 volt lithium battery. And this is one of those small little coin cell batteries. And these things are dirt cheap. I got this for $1.50 off Amazon and I will post the link in the video description so you guys can check this battery out and, and compare prices. I was going to buy it at Radio Shack but it was $6 at Radio Shack and it, I was in no urgent need of the battery so I went ahead and ordered it online. $1.50 plus free shipping which is awesome. And of course when you're working on any type of sensitive computer equipment like this please make sure you're grounded uh, via either a anti-static wrist wrap or you can ground yourself by touching any metal part of your uh, computer case before you start working. So the CMOS battery is housed in the laptop's RAM compartment which is on the bottom side of the laptop right here. It's held in place with one Phillips screw and all you have to do is unscrew that screw and lift up on this tab right here. So go ahead and take out that screw right now. All right, once that screw is out, all you do is lift up on this tab. Oh, screw's still not out. Just need a little bit more, there we go. And we are in. So once the RAM compartment is open, you can go ahead and remove the old coin cell battery. And it's not that hard. All you have to do is take your Phillips screwdriver, get in this little space right here for your Phillips screwdriver, push the battery, and bam, it flew out because it is spring-loaded. So be And now we can go ahead and put in our new coin cell battery. To put the new coin cell battery in, all you do is slant the battery, put it back in the compartment, and then gently push it back in. Ta-da! There we go. The coin cell battery is replaced. And now we are done. You can put everything back together now. And I will go ahead and power up the laptop to make sure that the CMOS battery is actually working. Let's go ahead and turn the laptop on. At first we should still get the errors because we'll have to set the uh, clock on the computer, but after that, when we restart, the error should be gone. There you go, powering it up now. Let me turn the brightness up a little bit. Yep, we still get error 161 and 163, so let me go ahead and set the clock. So the clock is set, let's go ahead and turn it on and see if we get the errors. Nope, no errors, we are good. So there you go, this has been a video on how to replace the CMOS battery in a IBM ThinkPad 380 series in this particular model is the 380ED. And I'll just zoom in right there. Ta-da! And I cannot express how anxious I am to do a overview on this IBM ThinkPad because it's such a nice computer. Uh, and I really do want to do an overview, but I'm not going to have the time this week. Hopefully next week I'll be able to get something out um, about this laptop. And then of course, uh, you guys can go ahead and check it out on my channel. So, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just post a comment in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and please do not forget to like this video. 
And of course, I always appreciate critiques, so if you have any tips for me, please leave them in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video.